a long wait. Before the race, also during the race, because it was a long solo. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a bit the feeling. Uh, it feels feels incredible. I feel so satisfied and uh, yeah, just thankful that uh, I'm getting some fruits of the labor over the year. Um, yeah, it started out a bit rough uh, with some tendonitis, but luckily I was able to move past that and uh, get myself back to a, a good level for the end of the year. After Monday and uh, Copa Bernoulli, you say you attack maybe too late <laughs> and too early at the same time. Today you chose the right moment. <laughs> yeah, today, today was uh, a lot more instinctual for me. Um, I knew that in a group of 20 it was going to be tricky to race together and already at the bottom of the descent the group wasn't working well together so I just tried uh, on the climb and I thought more riders would try to go with me but um, in the end I I guess I just picked a, a perfect moment and um, yeah I was really just trying to make the group smaller but uh, in the end it, I found myself alone and I knew I still had one teammate behind so I, I didn't have to hold anything back. In the final, get a bit scared, with that, especially with the final loop, which was not really advantageous for you. No, uh, the the climbs were nice because I could stand up. <laughs> I was, uh, yeah, I was just cramping and my stomach. I felt sick because I was eating so much in the day and always on the limit of maybe throwing up or uh, having extra energy. So, uh, but in the end, I think I found the the good balance and um, I was able to, yeah, stick it all the way to the end. I was. Uh, yeah, it was touch and go for a while, but uh, I'm, I'm so happy I made it happen. Did you get inspired a bit by your former teammate Alberto Becher, who did a bit the same at the beginning of the year on Milano Torino? Yeah, yeah, that was a pretty incredible ride. Um, I think uh, in cycling, it's always, it's always better to be in front. Um, better if you have a little bit more help, but uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's always better to be in front than behind. So just tried to, tried to go off the front. Just one last thing with that shape. We we will count you as a, one of the favorites, I guess, for Lombardia on Saturday. You did also a lot of effort today. So maybe, maybe. Um, Lombardia is a, a different story, I think. Uh, I really think that it's it's Tade and then everyone else. <laughs> um, and it would be, yeah, we'd, we'd have to, I think, pull off a tactical masterclass to beat Tade. Um, not saying it's impossible, but um, he's definitely the, the biggest favorite by a, a large margin. So. There's really not a lot of a pressure on us, but uh, at the same time, um, we want to try to win. So we have to try to think of something. Okay, so well done. Congratulations. Thank you.